And if you ain't a hoe, get up on my trap house. Good morning, frozen bears. I say frozen bears because it's cold as fuzz. I'll lock it. And it's only gonna get worse because the news keeps tweeting me and reminding me that it's gonna be like four degrees for the rest of the week. And I thought I lived in the south. I guess I got ripped off. I'm just gonna have to pick up my stuff and move to North Cuba, AKA Miami, where it is not this cold. I have a sweatshirt, I have a long sleeve shirt. Zip up hoodie and freaking down jacket and I'm still cold. I'm so cold that I feel homeless. That was mean. Today's Tuesday, also known as the best day freaking ever. We don't give a crap about red lights. We'll just sit here and wait. We don't have anywhere important to go that we need to be. Sorry if I'm squinting, I can't see. That needs to be at a certain time. I have all morning to sit here at this red light. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day. Make of the day, make of the day. I actually put my Too Faced palette away. It was my song. I put my um, Too Faced palette away because I use it every day. So I use Tarte Flower Child palette. Yes, green light. And my song is on. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm real ghetto in the car. I can't help it. You ready? All I got, all I do is cash out. And if you ain't a hoe, get up on my trap house. I've been selling crack since like the fifth grade. Okay, even though I get a little ratchet in the car and I enjoy a good ratchet song. Shorty give me neck till I pass out. Like, that's just nasty. And if you ain't a hoe, get up out my trap house. Okay, so according to Urban Dictionary, a trap house is like where you put your drugs and I guess maybe where you like cook your drugs like Breaking Bad, like how they made their meth in an RV. I guess he doesn't like Shorty because he's taking her to the trap house. Like, I don't want you to take me to your trap house. Take me to your real house. I guess I'm too bougie to be ratchet. And also, I've been selling crack since like the fifth grade, really. I don't know, maybe kids now are a little more street savvy than they were when I was a kid. I would have no idea how to sell crack in the fifth grade. Like, mathematically, is that even possible? And why would you be proud of selling crack since like the fifth grade? I think it's not an achievement. It's sad. And we shouldn't listen to this kind of music. We should listen to positive, happy music. But sometimes I just like to... My shmurda on. Oh, and he's in jail, by the way. I think in New York, in Rikers Island. See, that's what happens. When you talk about where your trap house is on your album, they gonna find you. So... I don't think any drug dealers watch my channel, but don't leave directions to your trap house on your album, because it's not going to end well. But the beat is hot. That was the ratchet moment of the day. Everybody have the best day ever! Do I have my thing for work laying in the door? Because Bentley was playing with it. Oh, I feel like I put it on. It might be in all these layers. Oh, okay, I have it. Yes! It's too cold to be locked out. Hola, mi gente! Happy to, is it Tuesday? Tuesday night. I'm doing boring stuff. I was getting my little vape kit organized, which I put in my purse. So that's my vape drawer. Well, not drawer cabinet. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. And then I have a whole bag underneath in there of stuff that I don't like anymore or that's at 18 milligrams. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm not give it away. Look at this, like my life, I, I gotta get my life right, like socks on the counter. And my plant died and this is my huge conundrum. You're supposed to have lucky bamboo plants in odd numbers, but the third one committed suicide. So I only have two. And I wanted to put them in a smaller thing. Is bad stuff going to happen? 
because I'm not following the superstition. If anyone knows, can you tell me? I need to know. We need to do some laundry, because Bentley's bed smelled like dog, and for a dog, he doesn't really smell like dog, but I didn't like it, so I washed it. And because I got home super late, he decided to be a vengeful and tear up his grass pad. So I had to chuck it and throw, get a new one. And the reason why I'm multitasking, so don't mind the tour of the house. Is it weird that Bentley has a section of clothes? Because if things aren't hung, I don't know I own them. So I got some baby hangers, and I hung up all his little shirts and sweaters and sweatshirts. This is too small. If you have like a little puppy bear that might fit it, let me know. It's a small, but it was made in China, and everything like clothes-wise from China is always really small. Like if you are a size 10 and you're ordering from China, you need to order like a triple XL. And I'm not wearing pants, so I hope that you can't see my butt. What else do we have to do? We clean the kitchen. We're going to do that after. We're going to go in the shower. It's just one of those nights. And <laughs> R.I.P. Brandy had a little accident today. I don't want to tell all her business on here because it's not Brandy. TV. She does have her own channel, which she has abandoned. So I had to leave work and pick her up, and I thought she was like dead on the side of the road, and I was like, oh god, my baby! Oh. Even though she's like not my baby, but you know that feeling, and she's like, and I'm like, I gotta be there. And then I got her, and yeah, everything's okay. We got her a rental car, so she good. So if she's resting tonight, I guess we'll do our normal activities tomorrow. She's feeling kind of sore, her like neck, shoulder, back. I think because of the airbag. Airbags and seatbelts will F you up. Which, I mean, wear your seatbelt and airbags are important. But usually that's what hurts the most. I got into a really bad accident in college. And it sucks. She was lucky. When I got into an accident, I ended up on a stretcher. Yeah, my super cool friend decided to swerve and then we hit a car and then we turned around and flipped three times and hit a bus and then we had to go to the hospital and I was in a stretcher and I couldn't see and I was like, oh my boy, I'm a baby. And that's really it. I'm going to call it a night because I'm boring. And I am ordered a book by someone who I follow on Twitter and I admire him, like more in a mentor kind of way than like, I have a crush on him and I was gonna show you the book, but my tablet don't wanna come on. Screw you, Dan. Hey, Bentley, do you know that mat goes in your bed? Did you know that? Can you show your friends how you know to go to your bed? Yes, good boy. Lay down, down. I only say it one more time. Down. Oh, oh, you're doing it. Good boy. Now I'm gonna lock you in here forever and ever. Bye, Felicia. You know what's cool about this thing? You can open the door from either direction. I can open it this way. And I can be like, you grounded. I can open it this way. Not gonna be like, you free. Doesn't take much to amuse me. Um, if you're interested, it is a travel kennel for dogs 10 to 20 pounds. The last one I had was for like zero to 20, not zero to 20, zero to 10. And even though he's nine, he varies between like eight and nine. He was 10 once, but I think that, that the scale was off, but it was just so tiny, like, cause he's so long. He's not short. A lot of Maltese are short, but he has a long body, so he didn't fit in that. So we had to get an upgrade. He still lives in cell block B. Bed's in the washer. That's why it looks weird, but I needed something, you know. 
in case I need to take them somewhere in a smaller crate. This is why you can't have nice things, honey. This is the book that I'm going to read by my friend. <laughs> I guess friend, Twitter friend, activist. His name is Sean King. He's really into activism and look him up. But he's good. He's also like a motivational speaker, a motivational coach. And I think I need a motivational person in my life. Like I might have to hire him so he can help me get my life back. But the name of the book is The Power of 100. Kickstart your dreams, build momentum, and discover unloaded possibility. And he's founder of the Life Goals University. So I'm going to read it because he's my friend. and Well, not my friend in like real life. He's a friend in my head. I don't really have dreams. I don't know what I'm going to do in my life. It's kind of awkward because I should know by now because I'm in my lower 30s. I'm just kind of like YOLO. So maybe this book will like help me get my life. So I'm going to jump in the shower and then read for a little while and then go to bed because my life is boring. Bobbies, you got to say goodnight to all your friends. Hi guys, I'm, I'm all up in here. Look at my hair. It's crazy. Um, I'm having fun in here. I'll talk to you guys some more. Uh, I gotta get you closest, but there's police always in my mouth. Um, let's see if I can work this out. Folks, can you give your friends the closest? No? Sorry, he's in the pollito, so he does not want to give the closest. He wants me to throw pollito. Give your friends all the closest. Oh well. Bye! That was so loud. Bye. Why am I using my Muppet voice so much lately? I hope this is bright enough because all my lights aren't on. I'm trying to wind down. Bye.